you're watching this probably because normally I upload in the afternoon. But nonetheless, um, today is a thrifting day. So I'm getting ready to go into Renew, which is one of my favorite local thrift stores. Um, it's where I filmed my last thrift with me. If you guys watched that, they had a lot of great things in here that week. And normally they always have a lot of great things. So I'm going in here today. I'm also hoping to hit up the Goodwill and possibly the Salvation Army. Maybe a couple antique stores. We will see how... Um, how quickly we can go through all of these places so um john is at home with the boys and that's generally how this goes down so once a week i get out i do my thing but i filmed a video this past week actually it was my last video it was how to shop budget friendly and i broke down how i thrift um what else did i talk about facebook marketplace i talked about um shopping end of season clearance sales and also i talked about yard sales today is a thrifting day like i said but if you have not watched that video and you want more details on how to shop budget friendly and just kind of the things that i go more into detail with with information and whatnot be sure to check that video out i will have it linked down below in my description box i have a playlist going that is for spring 2022 so all the videos that i've uploaded this spring are on that playlist and i have a couple others that i share as well down in my description every video one is specifically thrifting so of thrifting videos that I've done in the past and um, also one for the home which would be like home decorating and all of that that I've done in the past as well. So if you are new here to my channel hello my name is Nicole and this is The Simplistic Home and here on my channel I share all things simple living affordable decorating and thrifting. I absolutely love sharing all things affordable home everything so if all of that sounds good to you i hope this channel is inspiring to you i hope you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing today because i would love to have you here in this space without further ado let's quit chatting and let's get to thrifting <laughs>
front. So I made it into the dressing room. Um, they are starting to get summer and spring clothing out. So slowly but surely that I found some really good things over there. So um, there's some dresses, there are tanks and tees and all of that. So a lot of these pieces that you can layer. Um, so anyway, I'll go ahead and just show you some of my favorites. Okay, so like my last stuff with me, I want to show you guys what I was wearing because it is very budget friendly. So I have on the same jeans that I had in the last video. These were a clearance find from Walmart. And then this pullover I got recently from Target. It is also a clearance find. So it was originally like, it was like $25 and I got it half off, so $12.50. And I shared this in my last video. So um, again, if you guys are interested in more like budget friendly um, tips and tricks and all that, go ahead and check out that video. I'll have it linked in the description. But anyway, super cute. Love the detail on the sleeve and uh, wear this all year round. So we'll go ahead and try on the rest of the stuff. Okay, so I love this one. So it is actually a like suede material. I don't know if you can tell that or not. But um, super, super cute. Very comfortable. Looks really casual where you could dress this up too. But I might end up getting this one today. I don't know. We'll see. It is a size um, like small, medium, which is generally what I wear. And I like the oversized fit. I just have it like tucked in the front. So anyway, I'll come on. Okay, so this one is actually super similar to the last one, but it's more of a um, like khaki color. And this one is actually more of a like spandex material rather than the suede material that the other one is. Um, very oversized. So this one is like super long. As you can see, and this is a size medium, and uh, again, only dollars. All right, so I think this one is super cute. So I'm normally not into like the uh, details, like on the sleeves and like the flutter sleeves and stuff, but I do think this one is really cute. Um, it is a size medium, and it is four dollars also. So I made it out of store number one. Um, they did have some really cute things in there. I thought that that bar stool was really cute, but I didn't have a reason to buy. I don't have anywhere to put it. So I left that there. And then some of that art was really pretty too. So if you can see back here, I did end up picking up that sunflower one. Um, not for me. It's actually for my mom. While I was in there, she messaged me and was like, hey, can you please pick that up for me? Because if you didn't know, um, when I go to this store specifically, once a week I share it over on my Instagram as well so that way locals um can come shop so anyway follow me over on Instagram if you're not already I'll just leave my handle right here it's just at the simplistic home and I share all things thrifting and obviously home decorating and all of that whatnot over there too 
So anyway, I only picked up a couple of things there for myself. I did end up getting those little white, um, like little mini ramekins because we love charcuterie and we love like all the little dishes and stuff. We use them all the time while cooking and whatnot. So I did get those. They were, there was four total and it was like $2 altogether for those four. And then I ended up picking up one of those shirts. Um, the one at the very beginning, I think it was the first one I tried on maybe, I can't remember, but it was like that suede um, top that was really cute. So I grabbed that and I had $5 rewards. So if you spend like it, you're like a reward system here, you accumulate points to, um, I think it have, you have to have a hundred points to get $5 off. So I basically bought the shirt and the little mini ramekins, um, for like a dollar because my mom is, you know, paying me back for that one that I got for her. So anyway, I think I'm going to grab some lunch now. I'm starving and it's like one o'clock. I was in there for like four hours and, um, because I do work there. Side note, I don't just hang out in a thrift store for four hours. <laughs> I do work there and I have that little display section and whatnot. So it's super cool. But I'm going to grab some lunch. I'm going to head to the Goodwill, I think. And possibly the Salvation Army. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much time I have left. Because um, I don't like to leave John like stranded at home with the boys all day long. So anyway, um, yeah. So let's go get some food and we'll get back to thrifting. So we have arrived at the Goodwill. Um, I'm hoping I can find some good things in here. I feel like if you go here later in the day, they don't have as many items to choose from. That's what it seems like most of the time when I come here. I always try to stop in here after I go to renew and um, it seems like most of it's already picked over. So I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky today and there will be some stuff in here. But um, I do want to ask you guys a question. So the other day on Instagram, I had asked if you guys would be interested in seeing like over on Instagram if Instagram would be interested in seeing like um retail stores like big box store type things um their clearance sections because like I said earlier I filmed a video last my last video was a like budget friendly like how I shop budget friendly kind of thing and um I shared clearance finds that I found at like Target and things like that so if you are interested in that over here on my YouTube channel I would go ahead and film those too just on occasion do like a Target shop with me but it'd be clearance same with like Hobby Lobby TJ Maxx Home Goods all of those like popular stores um I love going in those places but I don't go very often only because I I love thrifting so much but on occasion I do like to go and I check out all their clearance sections and I've been able to find some really good things so this is actually one of the tops that I found at Target last week when I was there and it was on clearance it's the universal thread brand I ended up getting it like half off so it was only like $12.50 and I found another one that I actually shared in that video as well last week that was only like $8.99 and it was originally $9 um whenever I shared that clearance like section or the whole like clearance that I could find at Target um I shared it on Instagram they had like throw pillows they had really pretty pillowcases that I ended up finding for my bedroom they had things for kids um I don't know they just had a lot to choose from they had like comforters bedding all the things so if you guys would be interested in seeing like shop with me's over here on my youtube channel that are like i said like those bigger name stores that is like clearance just like still keeping it budget friendly but finding newer pieces um i can definitely do that so let me know down in the comments but i just wanted to ask you guys that because instagram was all about it so i wanted to see if youtube would be too so anyway let's go in to the goodwill and see what we can find in here the goodwill they didn't have a ton of stuff in there which i was kind of expecting um but i did end up leaving with those two really large pillows i believe they're euro size pillows one of them is navy it definitely needs cleaned um but it has like the little ties on the top i think this might be a um hearth and hand like uh pillow cover because it looks super similar to the stuff that they carry so i don't know i didn't find a tag on it. actually the tag is ripped off um but it looks very similar to that and then i also grabbed Let's see if I can grab it for you guys. This huge brown one too. So my thought for this is actually save it for fall. Um, it was $6. The navy one was $5. And um, somebody asked me in one of my recent videos, like what I do, like how to clean the pillows that I thrift. Because 
obviously you don't know you know where they came from and whatnot and they've been stored away in the thrift store for who knows how long before they actually bring them out on the floor so i just immediately wash them when i get home like this navy one is actually a cover so i can take that off i'll wash the cover and the pillow throw the brown pillow in as well wash it really really good um if they have like a smell in the thrift store as far as like i don't know i mean it's obviously gonna probably smell like kind of like just old because again you're just throwing it in with a bunch of random stuff but um if it has like a really nasty smell i just don't even bother i don't even buy them um but if they look like they can clean up super easy like both of these do the brown one is in like mint condition and then the navy one basically just needs lint rolled is what it looks like so i don't mind buying those like that um, and like i said i just take them home and wash them i'll even throw in vinegar in the washing machine to like help if there is any kind of musty smell just get rid of that and then it also like softens the pillows and whatnot too if they need that so that's how i do that if you're ever wondering um just immediately wash them like i said with whatever detergent you're using and i throw in vinegars too just as an extra <laughs> so anyway um i'm going to i think go to one more store it's not a thrift store it's actually an antique store um if you are new to my channel i used to have a booth that was dedicated to the simplistic home where i went through kind of like i do at renew that thrift store that i just took you guys in this morning um where i would hand pick all the things and then i would actually sell them in that booth so it would just be items that i would find randomly anywhere basically and um yeah so it's just like a curated collection so i filmed um i don't know it's been a few videos back that i did like a spring market where i set up and sold things from the simplistic home and it was like that exactly like that but it was a designated booth at an antique store and i ended up closing that um when was it the first of this year basically i love doing the events and just kind of traveling in my area and meeting people that way instead of just having my booth at the antique shop so it was just a lot easier to just kind of scratch that and just um stick with the events which is what i have enjoyed the most anyway so that's what that is all about but we're going to go in there because now that i don't have my booth in there i don't go in there very often and it's in my hometown so i don't know why i don't make a trip in there more often so we're going to do that today too um that's probably going to be the last stop I don't think there will be a haul at the end of this video simply because I've been showing you the things I'm buying as I finish up each thrift store. So we'll have to worry about that, but let's head to the antique store and yeah, we'll go ahead and finish up this video. you guys so i just made it out of the antique store it's more of like a antique slash like primitive i don't know just a lot of different things in there um but anyway i thought they had a few cute things but i didn't end up leaving with anything so nothing that really caught my eye that i felt like i just needed to have so 
Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and end today's video here. We've been to what three different places and um, found a few good things. So if you guys enjoy these um, thrifting, affordable decorating type of videos, thrift with me styles, let me know down in the comments and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That's always a good indicator that you guys enjoy them. Um, if you are new here, I hope you consider subscribing today. Like I said at the beginning of this video, the simplistic home is all about things, simple living, affordable decorating and thrifting once it gets nice here. <laughs> so I live in the Midwest and and, um, it is April like 8th when I'm filming this and um, I woke up and it was snowing so I don't know the weather here has been very weird but once again I live in the Midwest and it's either I don't know the weather's just very unpredictable so whenever it gets like more permanently nice for spring and summer we're going to be doing lots of outdoor like projects um, we plant a garden every year this will be like our third third year I think third or fourth year and um we're going to be doing that but we're going to be doing some different things so I'm going to be making some raised beds I'll get into more details about that they're actually going to be made of rock rather than wood um so anyway, we're going to be doing that I'm going to be doing like a patio refresh again once it starts getting warm um just different things like that I'm also going to be doing a spring home tour that will probably be my video after this one maybe the next video or the one after I'm not really sure but it'll be coming up probably next week and um yeah so anyway a lot to look forward to on my channel I'm super excited so like I said thank you guys so much for being here I hope you consider subscribing today because I would love to have you and be sure to check me out over on Instagram as well I'm very active on there pretty much daily and here on my YouTube channel I try to post two times a week so anyway thank you guys once again and I will see you in my next video bye guys